The Morrigan or Morrigan, also known as Morrigu, is a figure from Irish mythology. The name is Mor Riogain in modern Irish. It has been translated as Great Queen or Phantom Queen. The Morrigan is mainly associated with war and fate, especially with foretelling doom, death or victory in battle. In this role, she often appears as a crow, the BADB. She incites warriors to battle and can help bring about victory over their enemies. The Morrigan encourages warriors to do brave deeds, strikes fear into their enemies and is portrayed washing the blood-stained clothes of those fated to die. She is most frequently seen as a goddess of battle and war and has also been seen as a manifestation of the earth and sovereignty goddess, chiefly representing the goddess's role as guardian of the territory and its people. The Morrigan is often described as a trio of individuals, all sisters, called the Three Morinya. Membership of the triad varies. Sometimes it is given as Badibi, Matcha and Namain while elsewhere it is given as Badibi, Matcha and Anand. The latter is given as another name for the Morrigan. It is believed that these were all names for the same goddess. The three Morinya are also named as sisters of the three land goddesses Ariu, Bamba and Fadla. The Morrigan is described as the envious wife of the Dagda and a shape-shifting goddess, while Badibi and Namain are said to be the wives of night. She is associated with the Banshee of later folklore. In modern times she is often called a war goddess, and has also been seen as a manifestation of the earth and sovereignty goddess, chiefly representing the goddess role as guardian of the territory and its people. The Morrigan's earliest narrative appearances, in which she is depicted as an individual, are in stories of the Ulster Cycle, where she has an ambiguous relationship with the hero Cuchulain. In the Toyn Bo Regamna, the cattle raid of Regamain, Cuchulain encounters the Morrigan, but does not recognize her, as she drives a heifer from his territory. In response to this perceived challenge, and his ignorance of her role as a sovereignty figure, he insults her. But before he can attack her she becomes a black bird on a nearby branch. Cuchulain now knows who she is, and tells her that had he known before, they would not have parted in enmity. She notes that whatever he had done would have brought him ill luck. To his response that she cannot harm him, she delivers a series of warnings, foretelling a coming battle in which he will be killed. She tells him, it is at the guarding of thy death that I am, and I shall be. Okay. That's all from the Morrigan story. If you have a request or suggestion, you can write it in the comment below. If you like this content, please share this video to your friends, your family, your girlfriend or boyfriend. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thank you all.